Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about something that's important to give you a revelation of the divine truth of what God already had, you know, revealed to us concerning, you know, what he already created that's supposed to tell you about the reality of the truth of what, you know, that he um, created things for a purpose. And it's important to realize this. But the top of the message talking about, you know, uh, uh, the you know, revealing the reality of that we are created to be purified. We are created to be purified. Now, check this out. Yeah, the clouds. Yeah, the clouds. The clouds are white. And guess what? Heaven is white. Well, the scripture I want to use, of course, you know, we are made, the, uh, the sin have left a crimson stain, but he washed us white as snow. And the idea of white means to be purified. And what we need to understand is that um, we're created, God created, we're created, and God created things for an idea of purification. And what he does First of all, I want you to understand, of course, the scripture says, Blessed are those that are pure in heart, for they shall see God. More likely, you know, um, the thing is, God is in heaven. And heaven is where, you know, and what describes heaven is the clouds. And when we look at the clouds, we're supposed to see that the clouds is showing how our hearts, the condition of our hearts got to be in order for us to go see God. And it's you know, pure and white as snow. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, pure as snow and white. And that's the natural image that we can see to know when we look up in the sky, God's calling us by looking at the clouds and how white they are, that God is calling us to, you know, that we purify our hearts. Now, another how God shows us that we are created for uh, to be pure is our uh, uh, this structure that is inside of us that, you know, uh, without this structure inside of us, we can't possibly, you know, move and have, you know, a shape, a form. And that's the bones. And we're created with white bones. And that means the foundation of our, uh, that we were created, structure of bones is created white. And what that means is God placed inside of us a structure that we, to let us know that, you know, he created us for purification. You know what I'm saying? We're created to be purified. We're created for to do pure things in life. And that's what we have to understand to how he created, you know, our bones white to let us know the foundation that he established in us is to be pure, you know, for pure, for pure, to be pure unto people. Now, another way of looking at, you know, he, you know, white as snow that, that we're created for purify is our teeth. And our teeth are white. And that, what it's supposed to tell you, because they're white, is that he created our teeth to let us know that we're supposed to be set speaking pure things. That he created us to how to supposed to speak pure things out of our mouths. And that's what we need to come to understand that he created that for that purpose. You know, I know that's part of our bones too. But in another reason why what he created white is our in our eyes. We have white in our eyes. That therefore, you know, we got white in our eyes that we can see what's pure. You know, and what's pure unto God. You know, that our eyes are supposed to be white. You know, I mean that we're supposed to see pure things. And pure things are supposed to enter inside this gate. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to speak pure things, see pure things that, you know, that that he already automatically created us for us to see this pattern. That we will respond to this pattern when we look in the mirror and look at our teeth. It's supposed to remind us that we're supposed to speak pure things because our teeth are white. And, you know, and the same thing with our eyes. We see that white thing in our eyes. We're supposed to be seeing things that are pure. That we will enter inside our hearts. That we will 
perform pure things, you know, like, you know, blessed are those that are pure in heart, for they shall see God. And we're created to see God because we're made in his image and our likeness, you know, of him, you know. And that and that and we're supposed to look up in the sky and see the white clouds to see that we must have a pure heart to enter into the kingdom of God. That all these signs are right before our eyes that we need to let it uh, encourage us and uplift us to, you know, continue to pursue after him. Press towards to the mark of the higher calling. Now, I yeah, I understand that we make mistakes and we sin. All sin comes short in the glory of God. But when we see certain things like this, it should give us an inspirational a drive to, like I say, press towards the mark of God's higher calling in Christ Jesus to know that we're made for purification. You know what I'm saying? In spite that we're doing things that are polluting our system, it's this these things I'm revealing to you not to make you, you know, do what's pure, but to show you that God has structured you for purification, or more likely that you have the potential to do pure things. And God has created us with that ability to do be pure. And that is inside of us that you know that encourage you to drive you to become more a pure person. And you know, that's what God, you know. All about, you know, doing concerning that he created us. So that's the message. So I hope you allow your, you know, the pure white clouds and the pure white teeth and the pure white eyes to give you motivation of wanting to be washed white as snow. Motivation. You know what I'm saying? God ain't going to make you, you know, go pure for make you get purified but you must desire to want to be purified and that's of course hearing his word you know bible talks about the washing of his word you know inside of us all right that's the message y'all i hope you go stay pure and go after the purification and go away from the pollution to god be the glory to him forever and ever in jesus name amen